Hey y'all, welcome. I'm Tracy. This is my channel, Tracy from the Mermaid Cove. And I, everyone who's new, welcome. I appreciate you so much. I hope you subscribe, stick around, make a comment. Please let me know where you're at. What's your favorite thing at Trader Joe's? Let's just get to know each other. You get to know me, it's only fair. So I went to Trader Joe's. <coughs> I have a friend, she's not doing well, but <coughs> excuse me, allergies are crazy. She loves this drink and she doesn't like anything. She loves this drink, it's $3.49. So I went and got her a couple bottles. I got an extra one just to have for like what I feel she needs it and I don't have time to go to Trader Joe's because it's kind of not on my beaten path. I also got her the English shell peas because that's the kind that she's British. She loves that thing. And I got little, um, and those were the $4.49 for the peas. And then I got her, um, am I not seeing it here? But yeah, a potato bag, teeny tiny potatoes, $2.49. My mom used to make this time of year the um, the peas with the potatoes and like a cream kind of sauce. But she's got people there that cook really well for her. So I'm going to let them decide that. And I got a pack of the almond croissants. Those are $4.99. Uh, she likes almond and I showed them how to make it. And I just thought she'd appreciate that. Something different than what I've been giving her, you know. She's still eating. I still kind of appreciate uh, food. You know, it changes day by day. But I'm going to do what I can when I can. So, you guys, question number one. Who here likes ube? All right, so we've had ube ice cream. We have had ube pancake mix, which I'm ashamed to say I've never made. And we have had ube mochi, which I love mochi. It's probably one of my favorites, but I'm going to say the ube, ube ice cream out does it so I got two because I want to do a couple sample bags for friends but this is $2.99 I'm waiting for you guys sometimes that's hard sometimes I can't Woo! when you smell I would say they do not smell appetizing I don't know it's a very strange smell it smells like sweet coming at you <clears throat> but we'll see if the pretzel cuts it. So Ube yogurt candy coating. Um, it's growing on me. I'm not a yogurt person or yogurt covered anything. But it's interesting. Now, I'm, a, I'm on Weight Watchers, but I'm going to start. I've had a bad weekend. So tomorrow I'm going to try to start. I'm not overeating. I'm not eating at all. So I'm uh, going to start tomorrow with points. So I'll have to find out how many points they are. But I'm not sure. Like the trash let's say cake. No control. It's okay. Some people love it. I know I don't flip out. I mean, granted, I'm not a yogurt person or necessarily a pretzel person. But the ube, I'm trying it, right? End up getting two. So what I'll do is make little bags for my friends and send it to them so they can taste it. Because that's fun. Now I got blueberry muffin mix um, for $4.49. I've been wanting to make Angela this song. <coughs> it's a... Uh, uh, cranberry orange cream cheese muffin. Phenomenal. But I saw this and I thought, um, I got myself, you have to zhuzh these up, okay? You do. So I got some nice blueberries to put all over top and then I'll put a raw sugar kind of thing on it. So it gets it, I love muffins that have a crunch. And I'll figure out the points and I'll probably keep one there's 12 and then pass them on to her, Angela and her caretakers. This is a nice treat. Um, maybe I'll do that this weekend. Let's see. Got some beautiful strawberries, 3.99, zero points. So I will be washing these up and trying to eat these today or tomorrow because they're not gonna last long. 
I got some shallots, which were, I think, 69 cents a piece. Excuse me. And I got um, a red onion, which was like, I don't know, $1.19. Seems crazy. But is it easy to like grow your own onion? This thing was like $1.19. And I got two of them. I do want to, I love shallots, so I'm going to try to start incorporating that. I got some cilantro, $1.99, because I feel like I'm going to be doing a lot of sheet pan stuff, some sheet pan chicken. I love that. And I love um, taco stuff. I have some taco meat I made. I got, um, I knew, I went on the way to Angela's and I knew it was going to be there a couple hours. So I got a frozen hamburger. And I didn't pay attention. I saw grass-fed Angus beef. And then until I got home, it was 85 lean, 15% fat. So, I, I didn't, it's not, I ate it. I'm eating it. It's not horrible, but it had a weird smell. So, I made taco meat. I made uh, one half of the taco meat, the other half two hamburgers. And I had already had a hamburger. But I had to put a little buttermilk ranch dressing in the hamburger because I was afraid that tastes <clears throat> a little cheese. But, and it was, I think, let me see how much that was. $5.99. So I won't get that again. Some people may love it. I'm not getting that again. Plus, red meat has points, and me eating ground chicken, ground turkey, chicken, that kind of thing has zero points. So ground beef will be a treat, and I've been trying to do that anyway. I think this is a sweet potato, y'all, right? It was 89 cents, but I'm thinking, um, you know, in my sheet pan vegetables, something different, something that I don't normally eat. And I got me in my quimadas. They're $3.99, $3.69. I got two things of them. And with the tomatoes, what you want to look at, the opposite of other tomatoes. When they're like brownish, they're the best. And then they start to go a little orange. And then, you know, they'll start to turn more red. So that is how you buy a clamato. And we'll tell you right now, they are the best things I've had. Obsessed with them. So I just made myself some eggs with some clamato and a little bit of ham. So basically, it is a two-point um, breakfast, and I'm going to take it with lunch for me, too, because I'm just not feeling it today. So I got, I thought also, marinated artichokes. I didn't check the points, but, so I know it's marinated, so that's going to add uh, points because of the oil. Uh, artichokes first. But anyway, uh, I just thought... That would be really good in my um, sheet pan veggies. I just air, well, I was gonna, I should have tried air frying, but I put them in the oven zucchini sticks. Those were really good. I got some Trader Joe's organic low sodium vegetable broth, because that's what they tell you to do. So I got that. These are low points too, the eggplant garlic spread with sweet red peppers. Now there's a red, sweet red peppers one with Eggplant, this is the one I prefer. It is so tasty. So you could put it on a sandwich. I could um, throw it with my veggies. It's just, I don't know. I'm gonna find ways to make this really be the star of my diet. Cause it's not a diet, it might need to change. But the two of those, and I can have me some movie theater popcorn y'all. So it's 229, you know, you know. I think you can get one and a half cups or something. Now I'm not, I'm doing this because it riles up my, I call them hostage takers, but it riles up a part of my brain that usually shuts me down, says no, and then makes me want to eat everything in sight. So, and it's happening 100%, but I'm, I'm here to listen to that. It's not even about the points or the food or any of that. It's about hearing what they're saying and what they're doing and what they're demanding. Because I think to heal my relationship with food, they're the ones that I have to engage with. So, we did get ourselves a Dairy Queen Twist Cone dipped. 
and they wanted me to get a large, they wanted me to get a blizzard to save for later and all kinds of nonsense. So I said, no, we're gonna go ahead and get a small. I'm gonna dip it because literally a small one, I can't, my stomach can't eat it. So I eat all the chocolate, I eat about this much, I take the rest, I put it in a cup and then I eat the rest. I don't, <clears throat> I eat less than half probably and it was good and worth it and um, yeah. But I maybe had I not been understanding what was happening that I would have gotten a blizzard for later or a large one, which there is no way in heck I can eat. So that's kind of what this is for me. And I'm going to do another, I did a, um, as of you interested, I just did a, my weight loss story with gastric bypass. Um, but this part I think is just about, that is about controlling how much food you can eat. This part is for me is about healing my relationship with food. So... Tune in for that. You never know. Like I said, this someone wants me to do a new introduction, but it's really me. And I love Trader Joe's. I love going to the grocery store. I love going different places and sharing it with you. Um, I love talking about my life and my circumstances, books. I mean, just everything. And I'm decluttering my house. I got some fun stuff for you guys to go through with me. So that's it. And I hope those who like Trader Joe's just come and like Trader Joe's, subscribe and all that kind of stuff. And I know some people only watch five minutes. <laughs> but I'm, even when I start on something, I don't like it. I usually do 10 minutes. I just, I feel bad switching off right away. That's me. Now this is the new organic Bucanti pasta. So I tried that, I don't remember. It wasn't too expensive, uh, $1.49. So I'm gonna put that, you know, one day I'm gonna have spaghetti. I'm not eating spaghetti every night. But it's gonna be a treat. So we'll talk about that whole Weight Watchers thing in, later. And this is new, the Organic Italian Artisan Pasta Castatelli. Right? I think it was, she can't read my right, $2.99 under $3. So I got one for me and one for my friend Bev. And I guess it's so pretty, right? I mean, we like this pasta dish, it would be perfect in that, but you know, could be good in a vegetable pasta dish. Tuna. So, and of course, it's not going to spoil. I got 10 tiny cukes, mini cucumbers, great for use in salads, dressing dips, and anytime you want a crunchy snack. So, three sixty-nine. Let's. Not the best job of cleaning them, but let's try one. You get. They're kind of cute, right? I would say a little bitter, me. Yeah. I might not get them again, I'll eat them. Yeah, I'm gonna try all kinds of vegetables and see what I like, you know. Use this to dip so you can have some dips. So I, I don't know how all this is gonna work yet. But I'll finish them. But they're just, a little, I guess you could peel it, but it seems like a lot of work for a mini cucumber. Obsessed with these in the oven. So I made my feta TikTok <coughs> dish. I'm gonna do it again. I'm just gonna have very small amounts. I've gotta figure it out. Like more, like put the, well, like more artichokes, more tomatoes, a little feta, and um, a lot less pasta. I figured it out. But these things are so good. Three sixty nine was a good deal. I, my regular grocery store, they're like five ninety nine or something. So I thought that I don't know if that's always it for a pound. That seemed really good to me. And I got some broccoli, wash ready to use. You can throw it in the microwave. Um, I'm gonna try the air fryer. Two sixty nine. I like broccoli, so um, I'm gonna see. But I. As I said, I've been going through like a really extremely terrible time and um, I can't even say the word broccoli hurts my stomach, but I'm thinking I'll feel better. So I'm off Friday. So Friday, I'm going to try to do something with it because I, I don't want to waste it. But if I do, because I'm too sick to eat it, then okay. Then I had gotten these before, another one, and forgot to show you too. So three forty nine. These are, I have no idea where I got them. Um, golden blend, sweet and dry blend of cranberries, blueberries, cherries, and golden raisins. I guess I thought I could use them in baking. 
for in my head, you know, that spring jangle, I did not like it. And so I wanted to make my own with like, uh, I'm eating these honey roasted because peanuts, whatever the ones they had, they had like two. Um, with the dark chocolate blueberries, something like this. So, but now, you know, I'm not sure I need that around. I'm going to figure that all out. I don't mind raisins. Actually, I love them. Oh, there you go. I the points, but I love them, but I don't like them cooked in food. <clears throat> I love these things. Nobody else does. Forget how much they were. If you come in like this, and they're, um, they're gluten free. Chewy sugar cookies topped with cinnamon. You smell them. There's something about the texture I love. And I don't overeat them. They're super satisfying. There's that one. So, when I'm doing my points thing, I'll start checking on the points. I did. I got some honey roasted. So you know, you already see these things are good. So, I don't know if I can make a little sprinkle jangle and then figure out calories or points. I don't know. We'll see what my hostage takers are up to. So far, they've been in the house. I've got some Sunday and some last week, and I haven't even thought about them. So, yeah, whoops. Dark chocolate covered blueberries. Dry blueberries drenched in rich dark chocolate. That would be good in a cookie. Muffin. Maybe my blueberry muffins. I'll stick some in. I think these are Force 97. Yeah. Kind of tasty. I have another confession to make. Besides that I don't like Jingle Jangle. I don't like the Jingle Jangle. I bought it. I didn't eat it. Put it out work. Nobody else really ate it. So then I got the Sprinkle Jangle. Didn't like it. Put it out work. I had to throw the rest, most of it away. I don't know. I don't like buffalo wing flavor. I cannot stand it. And Trader Joe's is like everything is buffalo wing flavor now. I mean, I just don't, I don't like blue cheese. I don't like that hot and that, I, I like a little heat, but ooh, I just don't like the taste of it. So that's my confession. I hope I'm allowed to still have my channel for going to the Trader Joe's. But thank God they have so many other things, but I wish they would move a little past truffle and a little past that and come, come up with something new and interesting that we can try. But there you go, guys. Thank you again. It's so much fun to do this for you. And I love hearing what is your favorite thing. Like, what did you not see here that I need to immediately go and try? I will say again <clears throat> that Tress Leche Cake is amazing. I have one left in Angela's <clears throat> cottage, her um, freezer. And my intention is one day is to have it over there for her team when I'm there so I can have a piece. And then it will go bye-bye. Fingers crossed. So far, so good. I love you guys so much. Thank you. Can't wait to see your comments. Those of you who aren't going to do anything, just, hey, to you too. Gosh, thank you. And um, I'm going to see, hopefully, all of you and more next time.